Hello, human beings. Today we are looking at your intermediate level vocal fry stuff. The assumption here is that you have watched the beginner videos and you're kind of getting used to those exercises. You don't need to have mastered those exercises. Beginner stuff, finding your vocal fry, getting used to it mechanically, etc. Intermediate stuff, getting it higher up in your range. So everything that we're going to focus on is going to be pitching higher up and getting things higher up in your vocal fry. This is the time where your clean singing is going to start becoming important because your clean singing is going to inform your vocal fry and your distortions. So at intermediate level, you need to be able to pitch. If we've got your speaking range and then we have your falsetto above it or your head voice or whatever the hell you want to call this thing, your Mickey Mouse voice, whatever makes you happy, we want to keep you in falsetto. So stay high up, but make it squeaky. So if you're here, and you go, ha, you want, ha, same pitch, but squeaky. And the more you can squeak it, the better. Now, I'm going to give you a single clean exercise which is going to be the foundation, and then you're going to lay fry into that. Your exercise is on a W E sound, so you are saying wee wee wee. That's the only noise that you're making. Your pattern is a diminished chord. Sounds something like this. You take that pattern, and you go up to infinity. You go up until you are not making a sound anymore. Okay? So you need to start stretching your vocal folds. If your falsetto on a wee wee wee, sounds like this. If your falsetto sounds like this, on an oo, we want your wee 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 to sound like wee wee wee, super squeaky. If you are a dude, fingers on your Adam's apple, your Adam's apple should be skyrocketing to make it squeaky. If your Adam's apple isn't lifting, you are not squeaky enough, yeah? So squeaky, you should sound like a chew toy from that a dog would play with. That kind of noise. Should sound ugly, should be annoying. It's just squeaky. So. Wee, wee, wee. Wee, wee, wee. Wee, wee, wee. Wee, wee, wee. And you go up and 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 up. Yeah, you go as high as you can. When you reach the end of your range, first of all, just keep doing this exercise clean. It should extend your range. But when you reach the end of your range, you start coming back down. <laughs> if you are sounding loud, squeaky, strong, etc., you are nowhere near the end of your range. Again, just putting it out there as a concept. If you don't start to sound small and weak and quiet, that's not where your range ends. But yeah, um, in terms of tonal quality of this escalating thing, if I am down in my chest voice, wee wee wee, it would sound like that. If I'm somewhere in the middle of my voice, wee wee wee, it would sound like that. If I jump up. Comfortable falsetto. Wee, wee, wee. 
If I go higher, if I jump, still nowhere near the end of my range. Oh, oh my god, Bill. That's getting closer. So. Now we're starting to thin, yeah? We're getting really thin and shaky. Getting closer to the end of my range, okay? So that, so if you're still sounding nowhere near the end of your range. And then what you do is on the way down, you're going to stay on the lowest note of those three, and you're gonna staccato repeat it, and you're gonna try and use less air on the way down as you start moving down. You're trying to unlock your high fry. Mm -hmm. You're trying to unlock your high fry. I would recommend that you start on a wee wee wee, and as you pulse that single staccato pitch, you start opening to an A ah vowel, so you start changing the vowel, and then start going into fry. So, if I'm there, that, that's what you're trying to do. Again, same premise as the beginner videos. You're just trying to do it by staying on that pitch and reducing the amount of breath pressure. Less air. Less air, less air, less air. Always less air with fry. Let's say that you are like the lowest of low, low male voices. And you only get to about there. Same demonstration. Keep it small, keep it squeaky, keep it squeaky. As you open to an ah, make sure that you're not going wee, 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 wah, 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 wah. Don't relax, don't let go of the vocal folds. Wah, wah, wah. Keep them together. Nyah. To increase the probability that you're gonna fry. <laughs> The closer and squeakier you can keep your vocal folds, the closer you are to fry. That is your first exercise and the first thing to attempt in order to get your fry high up. Ta-da! That is all for now. Play around with that. And any questions, as always, just write them in the comments below. And we'll see where this takes us. Don't worry, in subsequent videos, you're going to be given a bunch of different ways to get your fry high up. Yay! Bye!